Have you ever wanted to give a message to that one person that always raids you while you're offline? Do you ever wish you could just call him a shaft mid-raid just to knock his ego a little bit? Well, by using the new Voices DLC in Rust, you can. In this video, I'll be showing you how to pair up a few components to make your very own motion detected house alarm that'll allow you to play a pre-recorded message if someone breaks into your base. Like this. There's a wanker in the drawing room. Now all you need is a tape recorder, simply slap in a tape, I'd recommend using the white one which is a short at 10 seconds long, it all depends on the message that you're going to be recording to be fair, hell you can even give them a good night story if you want to while the plums deep in your storage boxes. Once you put the tape in, hit the right click and record your message. In this case my message was 5 seconds long so I just repeated myself, as usual. That way, there's not much gap when it repeats itself over and over again. Once you've got your tape, remember to write on it so you don't get it mixed up with your ABBA tape. Then you can place it inside your static boom box and the jobs are good and So let's give it a whirl, girl. There's a wanker in the drawing room. Repeat, there's a wanker in the drawing room. Okay, it works. So now we need to get it to only trigger when people not authorised enter the base. Yep, you guessed it. I'm going to be using the HBHF sensor. If you want a more detailed explanation of the HBHF sensor, then there's a little video in the cards now. Watch that and you'll be a pro in no time. Pair the HBHF up with the AND switch, put permanent power into one side of the AND, and power out from your HBHF into the other side of the AND switch. The power out of the AND switch will go to the toggle on of the static boom box. Remember, the HBHF and static boom box also need power from your power source. And that's pretty much it. You can set the HBHF sensor so it includes or excludes authorised and non-authorised people. And that's your base model pretty much finished. Now this is the channel of Anicod, we don't just do simple stuff here. Well we do, we just make it look complicated. So let's expand it and add some more components that the Raider isn't going to be a big fan of. Now the good thing about the static boom box is that it's got a full pass through. That means if you put 100 power in, it'll only use what it needs and it'll output the rest. So you can keep adding as many components as you want to this single circuit or until you run out of power. We're going to start with a simple beacon light. You can add animated signs if you like and a fun little message on there as well. When it's activated, the raider gets a flashing reminder that they're a bit of a wanker. Not only that, it looks pretty cool at night as well. Let's say you want everyone to know there's some dildo raid in your base. Why not put loudspeakers all over the outside with lots of flashing lights and beacons? People from miles around will be able to see and hear this, giving the raiders a hint that there's counter raiders on the way. Now, here's just a couple of ideas, but there's tons of setups and tons of other things you can do to help protect your base or even troll the raiders. Let me know in the comments down below what you've done or any ideas that you've had that you want to put to a test. I really enjoy reading these. Anyway, as I mentioned, it's a nice short video, really appreciate you watching this far. If you have, let me know you're a legend in the comments down below and I'll give you an Anicod heart. Follow me on the usual social media like Twitter and Twitch and all that good stuff to see what I'm up to. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.